Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia and I thought that today I would do a little get ready with me because I haven't done my makeup in a really long time. But we're actually gonna shoot a bit on my roof. So I just do some quick makeup. So I'm gonna start with my brows and I normally use this Cabrow Dip Brow Pomade from Benefit. So yeah guys, like how are you guys doing? Like comment down below what you guys have been up to lately. I've just been cooking and also thank you guys so much for liking my last video i actually enjoyed making that one so much and i feel like this could be the start of me venturing into becoming a food vlogger i don't know i really enjoy cooking and reading all the comments and all the DMs on how much you like my video really made me happy. So thank you guys. I know I'm gonna make a vegan one till next time cause a lot of people been asking. Okay, so I'm quite done with filling in my brows. So what I do now is brush it with just a normal spoolie. And then one thing that I've started doing is soaping my brows. I know I'm so late on this trend, but I actually love it so much. So I put a regular bar soap in this little jar is my old eye cream jar just so that it'd be a bit more convenient for me to carry around but I normally just put water or um, some type of mist to get some liquid on it so I just spray that here just a few spritz and then I rub it in like this until it gets a bit sticky or gooey then I just take a little brush and rub the product into the spoolie, brush it onto the brows. But yeah, I really like this method because I haven't really been able to control my brows before because I have quite long and thin hairs. Like brow gel works, but it's not the most efficient and it really gives this nice feathery effect. Okay, so last step for my brow routine is some um, brow gel. And I like to use a very dark one so this is the boy brow from Glossier. And now I'm gonna move on to eye makeup. So I'm using the color Bermuda from the Natasha Denona's Sunset Palette. Um, so I'm just taking this and blending it all over my lid. Who are your favorite beauty bloggers, by the way? Because I want to experiment more with eyeshadows. And I have a few that I followed on Instagram, but I don't really know that many on YouTube. So if you have any ideas or suggestions on who to check out for beauty, please let me know. And then continuing on the same palette, I'm using the color Pangene, which is a more reddish color. And then applying it on my outer corner. <laughs> Then I'm applying the same color on the under eyes. And then I'm using the color Ice Gold for my inner corners. So eye makeup is done, so I'm gonna move on to my face And I'm starting with primer And this is the Banana Bright Face Primer from Ole Henderson and Yeah, a little skin update I was starting to have really good skin And then I think as soon as I got back from Vietnam I started breaking out because it's so dry and cold right now in Sweden So I got this pimples and like small bumps on my skin again Which is so upsetting but yeah i'm just gonna push through been through this before really like to have glowy dewy skin so i'm gonna use the liquid highlighter from nars i normally also blend this with my foundation so that also works but today i'm gonna skip foundation and just move right on to concealer because i feel like i don't want to do that much coverage today and my latest favorite concealer is the one from tarte the shade is in light medium and obviously i think this is like the most raved on youtube i've heard so many talk about it but i haven't really started using it before like this year i think i really love it so i also asked you guys to drop some questions on my instagram so the first question is how to meet more like-minded people i love your friend group I actually had a major intervention with all my friends yesterday which I think is also really important to do because 
I would say my friend group consists of really strong-minded and independent individuals. Basically, since we're a big group and everyone has their own opinions, building trust is really important. Being able to confront each other about problems and talk about things that you're dealing with and the things that you have issues with is super important to be able to maintain a good friendship. When you want to look for new friends or people that you want to be around is to always be able to be honest and feel comfortable. Like if a person is making you trapped and not giving you space to grow and learn, I feel like that is a good way to figure out if you're in a good relationship or not. So what have you been doing while self-quarantined? I'm gonna be honest, my life hasn't really changed that much since this whole situation because I already worked from home. So basically I was trapped in my house already. So realizing that my lifestyle is basically already quarantined. I don't know if it's supposed to be funny or if it's quite sad because now I realize that I need to get out more but this isn't really the time to be going out. So that's quite sad. All I do still is work. So it's not like I'm sitting at home and just like doing nothing because I still have a lot of things to do Like my normal day-to-day -day routine is just I wake up, I make food, I sit and work You know, maybe like go up to my roof because I really like it there Drink some tea, eat some more, yeah, watch some series Okay, I'm just gonna set my concealer with some powder And this is the one from Fenty Beauty in the shade Banana then moving on to bronzer, I'm using the Fenty Beauty one called Island Ting. Okay, another question is, what are your next projects with Dang Sokum? Or could you at least give us a hint? So, I actually have quite a lot of plans with Dang Sokum right now. But, as you guys may know, with the whole situation, it does affect a lot of companies right now, big and small. And at the beginning, I thought that it wouldn't be affected, but I actually found out today that my factories are being closed right now because the Vietnamese government saying that basically all businesses have to be closed down for at least a few weeks. I don't want to stress anything and I don't want this situation to give me any more anxiety, so I'm not trying to think of it as a bad thing that it's being on hold. So I'm just trying to see it as time for me to take a little break with my brand and give me time to focus maybe a bit more on like YouTube and my other projects that I have. I've just had a lot of things going on at the same time right now that I haven't been able to like focus and take a break. So my plan for summer is a bit more feminine. I already teased about it on my Instagram. Already in production is almost done. So it's basically a corset set. It will also come in five different colors. So this will probably have something for everyone. And my other thing, I am planning Dang Sokum swimwear. You guys always ask me about like where I get my bikinis from during swimwear season. And I just feel like it's time for me to design my own so that I feel like I have in my opinion, the perfect bikini. So I'm so excited to share this with you guys. It's currently in process. I just got the samples. I just have to wait and see how my factories will be affected because they are quite small. So hopefully they will be able to get things back on track as soon as possible. Given the situation right now in the world, a lot of people are affected by it. So I'm just gonna take it slow. So I just did some highlighter with my favorite one from Ofra. Now I'm onto my blush. I feel like this is honestly the only blush that I'm ever using. If you guys know any other one that I should try, let me know. But I just like haven't given up on this one. This has been staying with me for a few years and I really love it. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Quad and it's... I don't know if it's my skin tone really well. Lippies. So I'm probably just gonna go for a gloss because that's honestly all I use right now. I'm going for the fancy one. with the MAC Fix Plus. One thing that I've been loving lately is also scarves. So my hair has just been a mess lately and I honestly don't know what to do with it sometimes. So what I've been opting for is scarves. Like I really love it. I find it easier if I tie it first. So I usually do that. This is my hair situation like all the time. I have these flying out. So the scarf just covers that. So this one is a bit big. So I normally fold it down a bit so that it gets shorter. Place it on top. Okay, it's so hard because I can't see right now. Tie it. Tie it like this. 
Hopefully it looks good. Don't even have a mirror. So I'm just gonna tuck in my hair like this. I'm also gonna lay some of my hairs like here. Okay, I'm just gonna add my earrings. And then this look is done. Okay, so I'm done with my look. This is the final result. So another question is, do you follow any fashion trends or you wear whatever you want and don't care? I don't care that much about trends, but obviously if there's something that I like that is trending, I would wear it, but I don't necessarily go out to look for the latest trend and have to be like on it because I normally shop secondhand, so if I find something that I like and can style, I will just use that. And I also don't want to just have a lot of stuff in my closet because I've been decluttering quite a lot right now because I just want to clear out all the unnecessary stuff that's around me physically in my life. So I've been like getting rid of a lot of clothes, shoes, and makeup that I don't need at all. Another question is, are you happy with the way you look? Would you like to change anything? Lots of love. So I don't think I would change anything because yes, I am happy with how it look, but I mean like if I could get a bit taller, that would be fine. Like I wouldn't mind at all. If someone offered me plastic surgery or whatever, which I actually have, I've gotten in the email as a sponsorship asking if I want plastic surgery and I'm just like, no, I don't need. I don't think I would feel as a better person if I just changed the way I look. I'd rather just work on what I have within to be comfortable in myself with that than changing my appearance just to, I don't know, feel some type of way. I don't think I would work like that. I have one question that is diet tips. So I'm gonna be real with y'all. I do not believe in like certain diets or whatever to like, get skinnier, get this, get that. I just, I just eat whatever I want. And I think if people are fine with that, they should do that too. There's nothing wrong with having a healthy diet, but I don't think I would like to promote a certain type of diet for a person to lose weight. In that case, I would recommend a diet for feeling happy or feeling good about yourself, um, not necessarily changing your appearance. I personally don't, and I just feel like I don't really care about that stuff at all. My diet tips is eating food made with love because that is what I like to eat. And I definitely enjoy my snacks occasionally or quite a lot. And if you combine that with a workout or whatever, that is up to you. I personally haven't been working out for about a year because like my travels kind of made me like out of my workout routine, but I, I enjoy working out for my own like mental health, not necessarily for my body. And I think that should be the reason why you would want to work out because like the endorphins you get when you work out is what makes you happy and confident. And it's super important to maintain good health. Okay, so I'm gonna head on to um, the kitchen and just make a light little snack or drink. And then we are going up to the roof, shoot some stuff for Dying Stockholm. So tag along. <laughs> Hey, 깨고서나 차 싶어, yeah. 